Hi, Brian Katzung here with a tutorial on how to customize the positioning of your section background images. So here I have a, a preview of one of my Kartra pages and the, the height of this section, I've just got one section on this demo page. The height of this section is controlled by my content here and you can see that I have a, a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge in the background and you can pretty much see most of this tower. Now, as I make my page wider, the browser has to enlarge the image so that it still fits from side to side. But my, my height is staying very nearly the same. It's changing a little bit as the text ref reflows. But uh, for the most part, the height is staying the same, but it, it needs to enlarge the image to fit the increasing width. So as it does that, more and more is getting chopped off the top and off the bottom. It's not too terrible here if it, with the, the tower being chopped off because we still have the main kind of uh, center of the image in the center of the space. But um, if this tower re represents um, someone's head, then it's not too great having the top of their head chopped off. So what I want to show you is how you can tell the browser which part of the image to prefer, what, what, which part is preferred to display versus which part is going to get cropped. So by default, the image is centered horizontally. Well, it's, it's going to fit because it's being stretched or sized to fit from side to side. And then you're going to see a strip in the center, but we can affect which strip we take. We, we could get a strip that's, that prefers to, to take from the top of the image or the middle or the bottom or anywhere in between. So we need to do this, uh, this process, finding our settings from the preview because it won't be reflected in the, in the page builder. So from your preview, right click um, on the background and choose inspect and this will bring up the developer tools inspector so we want to go to the level that says div class equals content so this this html div tag represents your your section in the page builder So the, the first thing we're going to need is in order to apply our custom CMS, CSS to this section, we need the section ID. And that's this little bit here where it says ID equals quote and then some stuff and another quote. So we need to make note of the stuff between the quotes. So I'm just going to double click on that text. It's going to highlight it. I'm going to copy that paste it into a little notepad that I've got going here for later reference. And then we need to modify this div that says class equals background changer. And that's, that's where, um, I don't know if you can see this URL, but it's got the link to the, the picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. So we're going to edit this style. Um, and I'm going to do that by right clicking on anywhere on this div and choosing edit as HTML. When I do that, it's going to give me this little edit box that's got the code for that. And I'm going to copy this text here, just, just the setting, not all of the CSS, but I'm going to copy where it says background dash position colon space 50% space 50% semicolon. And I'm going to copy that in to the beginning of the style and it says style equals a quote and then a bunch of other stuff between the quote and whatever comes after I'm just going to paste my background position and then after the semicolon just for readability I'm going to insert a space and then I'm going to click outside to apply my change so I've added an attribute but I've I've specified the position value a 50%, 50%, which is the default value, so we don't see any change initially. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in and edit this. And the, the first percentage is represents the horizontal placement, but that it's always going to be in the center. So we don't need to change that. The second percentage controls the vertical position. And it basically says that whatever this percentage is from the top towards the bottom, so 0% is the top of the image and 100% is the bottom of the image, should be placed at that percentage of the space. So 0% re represents the top of the space and 100% represents the bottom of the space. So at 50%, it means the middle of the image should be placed in the middle of the space so that it's, it's vertically centered. If I say 0%, Let's apply that. It means the top of the image is going to be placed at the top of the space. So if I click out, we'll see we're showing the top of the image. Now if I edit this again and change this to 100%, it means the bottom of the image is going to be in the bottom of the space. So if I click out to apply the change, now we're seeing the bottom of the image and the top is cropped. So you can pick any value you want to get the fit that you like. So I want to be able to see the top of the tower even when this window um, is at the widest. So that say the top of the tower represents the top of someone's head and I don't want to chop off the top of their head. So I've played around with this, this image before and so that I know that um, to get the tower to fit even in the widest window I want about 15% here when I apply this. So there's the top of the tower. So if I resize this window, as it gets smaller, I get more and more of the image. But because of my preference, as I change this window to a, a full width window, it, I told it that I want 15% down to be 15% of the space and that's enough to keep the top of the tower or the top of someone's head or whatever in this space. And those exact, those values um, will depend on your image and your space. So now what I need to do is um, I've, I've only just applied that um, to the page that's in this particular browser tab. If I refresh this, my changes would be gone. So in order to preserve those, I need to go back and apply these changes into my Kartra page. So let's take that information that we've got. So the second one isn't going to be 50%, it's going to be 15%. And I'm going to need to take this section ID and I need to say pound sign followed by the section ID. That's how you tell um, the style sheet to apply only to that section. And within that section, I specifically need to apply it to my background changer div. Um, and it's gonna be a div with a, with a class of background changer. So that's what this, this period means. So in the section with ID, whatever the ID was, in the div with class background changer. We want the background position to be the middle horizontally and in, in my particular demonstration case 15% vertically. So I'm going to take that text, copy that, go into, uh, sorry not the settings, the styles, and then in the custom so style section I'm going to paste that into my custom style section, go down to apply. And then I'm going to uh, close my preview and open a new preview. And if I did everything right, we should see the top of the tower. Boom, there's the top of the tower, even at the full width window. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.